Hello everyone. Um, the topic I chose for my informative speech is the importance in continuing to fund sports programs in schools. I chose this topic because I'm so adamant about it because it hits so close to home for me. I've played sports literally my entire life since I was probably about five years old and started rec soccer up until currently where I am the president and co-founder of the Ocean County College Field Hockey Club and throughout all of these experiences I have benefited innumerously from sports um, all different sports and it's been physical benefits mental benefits and social benefits um, in fact in sixth grade I was overweight and started playing sports in seventh grade and because of the sports I lost a lot of weight um, and gained a lot of self-confidence so that's both physical and mental and then socially that has helped me develop values for myself um, and to value myself as a person which has helped me get through high school and through college and all kinds of different problems in work and just in life in general um, and that's just me I know that similar things have happened to a lot of my really close friends and to thousands of other athletes across America and to millions of other athletes throughout the world um, because sports really do have a ton of physical, mental, and social benefits. Um, so first, physical. Obviously, when you play a sport, it requires you to be up and moving. You have to run. You have to learn skills. Um, and by definition, a sport is actually an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others. Um, and the movement and the getting up and doing things is so important especially in America because we have a huge problem with obesity and a huge problem with being overweight. Um, for example, actually a poll on obesity in 2012 said that 26.2% of Americans were obese and 36.1% of Americans were overweight. This can be compared to the 35.9% of Americans who were of normal weight. So that means alone the number of people who are overweight in America are greater than the number of people who are normal weight, not to mention those who are actually obese. Um, and that's just a huge problem. And by cutting sports or cutting the funding for sports, we would lose those programs. And then students wouldn't learn the importance of physical exercise and they wouldn't get out and do it. And they wouldn't learn how, how to have fun while doing it. And they wouldn't be able to develop healthy a healthy lifestyle for the rest of their lives. Um, and then also on top of this, Everyone has heard that sports help produce endorphins, which are produced during exercise and resemble opiates in their abilities to produce a feeling of well-being. And this ties into the mental aspect of the benefits of sports programs because obviously, especially as a teenager, you want to feel good. Um, and it's so much better to do a sport than to look into illegal substances to try and feel um that way um, so obviously that's one thing and then obviously academically sports help because most schools I know mine did have a minimum grade point average that you have to have we had to have a C some schools may be higher some schools may be a C minus or lower um, but this is designed for student athletes who maybe aren't academically inclined but are, are really interested in doing sports but obviously it's important to get your education too um, and this helps them work hard so that they can actually play their sports. Um, also for women it's according to the Women's Sports Foundation female high school athletes are 92 percent less likely to get involved with drugs 80 percent less likely to get pregnant and three times more likely to graduate than non-athletes. Obviously this is a really resounding statistic because it's so important, especially for young females who can easily get mixed up because as a teenager, it's very easy to do so, especially with peer pressures in high school. Playing sports really keeps them on the right track and it really helps them. Um, and then also, according to the National Center for Education Statistics, during the first semester of their student year, of their senior year, um, student athletes had better attendance with less unexcused absences and less skip classes than non-athletes and had three times were three times more likely to perform in the top quartile on a composite math and reading test which is something like the SAT or the ACT which is really important into getting into college 
um, and that was compared to non-participants, and they were more likely to aspire to higher education with two-thirds of student athletes expected to complete at least a bachelor's where only half or less than half of non-participants were expected to do so. So obviously sports help with discipline and help in education and help students academically, which will again help them throughout their entire lives. And that starts in schools. Um, not to mention some other mental benefits, which is self-confidence. I mentioned my story earlier. I know my best friend, Anna, in high school was having issues with her self-confidence and she ended up joining our softball team. And throughout the season, you could just see the amazing change that came from her succeeding in the sport. And I can still see it even to this day, even five years later. Um, and that's not to mention hard work, perseverance, discipline, and respect that you get um, from trying to achieve a certain skill or having your team try to achieve, you know, going to nationals or being the state champions or whatever it may be that you're trying to achieve. But it really helps in goal setting, which is another important thing that will help you throughout your life. Um, and then, of course, socially, it's important, especially in high school. We put so much weight on being social and having friends and it's really hard sometimes um but when you play sports you just automatically enter into teamwork and camaraderie and working towards that common goal which makes people you never thought would be your friend become your friend and it introduces you to new people and you just get out of your comfort zone um and then also further down the line it's something that you can put on your resumes it's something that you can put on your college applications as an extracurricular and it's something that you can talk about because regardless of if you played for one high school against another high school you still have that in common and you might not have anything else in common with someone but it becomes very very easy to talk about that sport and all of the good times you had or the not so good times so in conclusion sports are an increasingly important aspect of developing young people and they just help innumerously with physical, social, and mental benefits and I have benefited, my friends have benefited, benefited, and so many other people in this country have benefited and across the world. So funding for sports programs should never be cut. Thank you.